Spike, Spike, no. why are you doing a valve check on the Jigsaw? I'm not, I'm not doing anything. I'm not sabotaging it. It's okay. I'm just... Well, listen, we got to film something. We got a new giveaway bike. It's an American bike. Wait, wait an American would... bike? We yeah, an American? it's an American bike. All right, I got to get dressed. Hold on one second. No, despite. No, 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 no. Despite, we got to film the video. Despite. I'll be right back. No, oh, no, my God, no. Yam yeah, said he was never getting another Harley. I knew he was getting a Harley. Let's do this. Ah, uh, yeah, now we're ready. No, no, Spike, come on, dude. What? Uh, get, no. Yeah, I mean, no, 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 it's, no, 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 American bike. No, it's, it's, you can use it on slash off-road kind of. Wait a minute, of, is it Pan America? It, we got a Pan America? Hold on, I got to get changed again. Oh, uh, no, Spike. <sighs> we're never going to make this video. We're literally never going to make this video. Josh, we're never going to make this video. Yeah, he's, he's putting on another costume. He's, we're never going to make it. Y'all need to be more serious. Some of us are trying to work. All right, it's dirt glide time, baby. No, Spite, no, you're doing way too much. Please put on your normal clothes and let's film this video. Come on, man, I, feel so, I feel so powerful. This, this is a great image, right? I'm asking you to just put on normal clothes. Okay, we all can, right. You'll, pro be, I, you'll like this bike, I promise. I'll Come be right on. back. We're never gonna make this video. It went a little bit more appropriate. You, you good? Yeah. Ready? All right, let's do this. All right, perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the 2019 Indian FTR 1200S. We are so stoked about this motorcycle. We've heard you guys talking about it in the comments. We've seen tons of videos about it. This is America's answer to the sport bike, and it is a gorgeous thing, wouldn't you say, Spike? Oh my God, it is drop dead sexy, this thing. It's no bad it, angles. There's no bad angles on it, and it looks cool in here in the studio, but outside in the sunlight, there's like a flake to the paint. It, the finish is just so good. It's it's so delicious to look at. Yeah, this thing is just absolutely beautiful. And the best part is this motorcycle is replacing our Aprilia RS660 we did as a giveaway bike, and it is our new intermediate bike giveaway. Yes, this Indian FTR 1200S will be given away to one lucky person in about four months or so. Read all the official rules on yamini.co, but for now, use the code FTR on ynmoto.co or on yamini.merch.com. Get yourself three X entries and 10% off only for the next 72 hours to win this motorcycle. But we're gonna make a ton of videos about this thing. We are really excited about it, but uh, I don't think you've actually heard the exhaust yet on it, right? No, I haven't. This is actually the first time I've been this close to it. I, I just saw some pictures of it online. Uh, yeah. So. This bike, as you can tell, has a full system, and it is unbelievably loud. Probably the loudest bike we've ever had, so I'm gonna kick it over to a clip of Spike getting his eardrums blown out. Hit me with it. So obviously very loud and this bike deeply confuses me. So why don't you elucidate what's going on with this bike? What do we got under the hood? All right, so this motorcycle is meant to be Indian's answer to a road legal dirt tracker, flat tracker style bike. So we're working with the 1203cc 60 degree V-twin pumping out 123 horsepower and 84 foot pounds of torgos. Very good stuff. We like the torque figures on this bad boy. Some of you might be saying, oh, but an MT-10 makes 160 and blah, blah, blah. Doesn't really matter on this bike. This thing is so much fun to ride. And that's partially down to the fact that it has this dirt tracker, flat tracker style. So we're working with a weird tire combination here. We've got a 120, 70, 19 up front and a 150, 80, 18 out back. So oversized wheels, kind of skinny, Every time you get on the gas, the whole thing just shimmies and shakes, as we'll probably show you in a B-roll here of me trying to keep traction as I was exiting that one corner, right? <laughs> I was, I was, as we were filming that, I watched the rear tire just <laughs> grabbing traction and the bike going, Ugh, uh. yeah. it, was, it was, it looks like it would be a fun brawl of a bike to ride, which is my kind of thing. Yes, I think with the giant V-twin and its kind of brawly character, you're really gonna love this bike. I already love it a lot. Um, and one of the reasons I love it is because it comes equipped with a bunch of amazing premium features. You've got a six axis IMU, a TFT display, fully adjustable sack suspension. This thing is pretty upmarket. Brembo brakes, 
twin discs, not working any single disc crazy Harley nonsense on this. I think this thing be a death trap with a single oh disc up front. <laughs> <laughs> hey, mean, it could be like the flat track, there's no brakes, right? Uh, that sounds like a death trap right yeah, there. Yeah, no kidding. I can't even imagine how spicy the 750 race bike is. It's oh, probably man. insane. That, that it, the best part about this for me is how much they nailed that 750 styling yeah. in this bike. I mean, they gave you a much bigger engine, obviously, because they want you to have fun, and they gave you brakes because they want you to live <laughs> through it, but they still nailed the styling, and it's just, it's so cool to sit here with this long, flat top on it. Yeah. Uh, they, the nice thing is they don't have the plate up under here, so it's mm -hmm. nice and clean. They put it down here on a severely overbuilt uh, license plate hanger here. Yeah, we might want to do some weight reduction at Spite and Yam's tail tidying exhaust shop and uh, chop that thing off and figure something out. We got a brand new angle grinder. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We hope we don't have to take the angle grinder to the Indian because that would make me very sad. But I thoroughly believe that this is one of the bikes that really kind of set the stage for this new kind of street tracker, flat tracker style that everyone's kind of chasing after in the custom bike scene. But uh, this motorcycle is just so beautiful. That's the thing we really come back to is Indian put together such an amazing looking bike, wouldn't you say? Yeah, absolutely. And you know, you might be thinking, oh, it's not the red and the white one. I really want the red and the white one. The black one here oh, looks so, so cool. Like when it's, when it's out in the sun and you can see the gold on the forks and the gold back here on this uh, reservoir, the gold on the pipes, it just accents the bike so well. Yeah, it's, and it's so cool. It's the closest thing that an American rider can get to a pure Ducatista machine. Like somebody can walk up to this and be like, it is achingly gorgeous mm -hmm. and not have, you know, a little espresso and a twirly mustache. Yeah. This elicits a lot of Ducati to me, honestly. The way the engine makes the power and the brawly nature of it kind of reminds me of an old monster in a way, you know, but just updated and refined a little bit more. Um, what else can we say about it, man? It's kind of funky. It's got the gas tank back here under the seat. This is actually not the gas tank right here. So a couple quirks on this motorcycle you wouldn't expect. Um, and again, the sound is just to die for. It's so, so good. If it doesn't actually make you keel over because it is really percussive right now. Yeah, extremely. So let us know in the comments down below what bikes you'd like us to compare this thing against because we're gonna make a ton of videos with the FTR since it is one of our giveaway motorcycles. I think a lot of people wanna see Sportster S versus FTR. The specs yeah. on paper look very similar. I, th I have a feeling that the Harley would have a hard time getting close to this thing. Just I standing so. next to it, it is a impressive motorcycle so yeah. harley better come correct yeah uh, and y'all know that i'm a little bit dubious on that but we're gonna test it yeah we're also gonna test it against your standard naked bikes your ducati monsters maybe an mt09 something like that the only thing that holds the indian back a little bit is it is a little bit more expensive and heavy than those options this bike weighs about 500 ish pounds wet and ready to ride and cost 14.5 at the dealership 15 something like that yeah, 16 a... i don't even know like the carbon one's like 19 or 20 they're very expensive yeah you can you can go wild if you want with these ftrs uh but honestly those are the new ones with the 17 and I gotta have the one on the 19 and the 18. Absolutely. You gotta have it with the flat track style. We had the option to get a brand new one with the 17s, but for us, we wanted the authentic one with the flat tracker style. We just think it looks cooler, even if it is poor handling and probably doesn't serve this bike very well as a sport naked type of thing. But it's fun, it makes it different than everything else. You know, it's a very unique motorcycle. Yeah, and I'm just dying to go out and ride it. Yeah, so as you guys know, tomorrow we're gonna have our first ride and impression of the Indian FTR. That's gonna be a great video. Make sure you stick around and check that out. And of course, remember, giveaway motorcycle. Use the code FTR in the next three days. Get 10% off and 3X entries on YNMoto or YAMUMerch.com. And now, cue the glorious B-roll exhaust and other cool stuff we shot today with this thing. We'll catch you in the next one. See you later. still here. I can't believe you made it to the end of the video. Not many people do. Just for you, I have a little treat. Hit this link over here. Check out the next video on the Yemi Noob catalog. What's going to happen in it? I don't really know. Maybe there's a boost in it. Maybe there's some cool wheelies. Maybe there's some fun memes. Probably. Who can say?